Hey guys, in today's video, I want to go through the process of actually transferring or purchasing a used BM3 license or boot mode license. Uh, one of the really, really cool things that Pro Tuning Freaks has built into their platform is once you're done with the Flash Tune, if you're the original purchaser, you pay $5.95, you can actually transfer that license down the chain once, meaning you can go to one other person. That person cannot sell it, so they're actually going to have uh, no resale value. So take that into consideration if you're buying. Um, you know, the going rate that I've seen is between three and $400. That's what I recommend you negotiate your way into. In order to do this, you'll need a couple things. One, you're gonna need an ENET cable. This cable has an OBD port on one side and an RJ45 on the other. They're really, really cheap. On amazon.com, I'll link you to where you can get one. Uh, but you're gonna need that to get started um, and you're gonna need it for tuning regardless. So even if you don't have it immediately, you're gonna need it. The reason why I say you need to get started is you could encounter an error message where Pro Tuning Freaks actually needs to validate the software in your car and validate its compatibility. So having that on hand will actually save you a little bit of time and a little bit of headache. The second reason I'm making this video is I've been noticing people getting scammed. Pro Tuning Freaks has made it really, really easy to transfer the license and try to eliminate some of the scams. But you know, I think if you've never seen it, you've never done it, then I think it's just best that someone shows you how it's done. Uh, and for me, that's a really important thing. I really, really hate scammers. I'd like everyone to be as informed as possible on the process so that as they're going through it, they're not opening themselves up to that. Very, very important. Use PayPal or some sort of escrow. Do not do it as a friends and family, no matter what they say. Uh, do it as a service or good. Don't do Venmo because you're not getting your money back. Um, you can try to use a credit card. If, if there is an issue, your credit card company may back you. So those are the things that I recommend. I hope you liked the video. If you enjoy it, please like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me out. So to transfer the license, the seller will need to log into their boot mode account. It's the same account that they've been using the whole time. Um, and the thing that they need to do before they get rid of the vehicle is they need to lock the DME and flash their car back to stock. If they don't do that, then there is no chance of them transferring this license. So again, boot mode will only allow one license to live on one vehicle at a time. So by doing this, what they're doing is they're essentially putting this car back to stock, they're locking the DME, and they've now set that car uh, to be locked and boot mode will check for this. Now that the current license holder has locked their DME and flashed back to stock, they need to go through the process of actually transferring the license. So in this process, they're going to need a few things from you. Number one, they're going to need your email address and they're going to need the VIN number to your car. Once they click that accept box, it's actually going to give them the confirmation window that says, are you sure you want to do this? Once they click confirm and click transfer, hopefully what's going to happen is you're going to see the success button. If you do, that's great. If you don't like me, this means that you need to actually hook up your car to a PTF server first so that they can validate that their software is actually compatible with your um, car. And I'll show you how we do that next. All right, so if you got the error message that says not ready, the seller of the license will tell you they, they got that message even though you gave them your VIN number and your email address. It's actually really easy to resolve. What needs to happen is Pro Tuning Freaks needs to verify the software on your car. And they're doing that to verify that the software on your car is compatible with their tunes. So it's actually really easy and this is why you need that ENET cable. So if you were considering buying a license from someone, get an ENET cable first. These are really cheap. They're about $17 to $20 on Amazon. I'll link you to the one that I have. And you're just going to connect this to your car and then to your laptop and then you're going to log into boot mode, the um, BM3 site. So. I will take you through that. It's really, really simple. If you don't know where your OBD port is, it's on the left-hand side of your car. Um, basically right here, you plug that in. And then you go ahead and plug it into your laptop. Like that. Really, really simple. This is a really, really old laptop. It happens to have an Ethernet cable um, port. So I just use this one because it's simpler for me. But you can use anything that, that works. So at this point, what you've done, you've actually downloaded the BM3 OBD agent to your laptop. You can get off their site. I'll give you the link in my description. And it's really, really simple. All this thing does is it allows you to communicate with your car and connects up to their server. So once that agent's ready, uh, you can actually start the process of, of actually tuning or, or verifying your software. Okay, so at this point, your car is actually connected to the OBD agent and actually is pinging off of the... Um, Pro Tuning Free Soft Server. So what you're going to do is you're going to log in and you're going to see that your car is actually connected. 
but not yet validated. What I'm not going to show on the screen is actually going to read your software and put the software down below. And it's actually asking you for an activation key. This key will come directly from Pro Tuning Freaks, but the seller needs to go back to step one and basically uh, reinitiate the license transfer. So at this point, you're typing in your activation key. So you'll actually get an email directly from Pro Tuning Freaks, and they'll give you your activation key. All you got to do is enter it here. I'm obviously blurring this out so you can't see mine, although it's single use anyhow. And as soon as this is done, you will be fully able to download the OTS maps or off the shelf maps, if you will. Okay, so once you've clicked the activate button, what you're gonna see is it's gonna say wait, and then hopefully you'll see success like I did. Okay, so once you've seen the success message, it basically means you're ready to go. You actually have um, a new license, and once you click on the menu, you'll see you have an OTS map. The one you'll see first is the stock tune. So this is the tune that is would be stock on your car. And from there, you can actually go through, if you click the OTS Maps button, you'll be able to see all the maps that are available to you. Um, basically, you can choose one with your standard license. Uh, if you want to play around and kind of flip back and forth between tunes, what you would do is you would actually um, buy a bundle. It's about $50 more, and so you can have any map you want that's available off the shelf. You can also take the option of reaching out to a custom tuner which is another thing that Pro Tuning uh, Freaks allows, and that would be something that would be you know, completely negotiated with the tuner. So that's it for the video. I hope you guys liked it, and if you did, please like, subscribe, and comment. Any questions, feel free to shoot me a message.